I, I don't know, since I was a kid, I said I wanted to be in a band. I wanted to play guitar. And um, now I'm out here trying to make it happen and stuff. And so every day is like, when it comes to work ethic, like when it comes to guitar playing, when it comes to, you know, our social media, when it comes to like grinding it out, you know, there's, there's a, an intense level of dedication that goes into this. And, uh, you know, it, it, it comes from every one of our members. You have to be all in with all the time that all this stuff takes. You kind of just have to have that mindset like, I'm just gonna put all my efforts into it and just see where it takes me. 10% <laughs> of what we do is really awesome. And that's the 10% that people see. The other 90% of our lives are working our asses off, sweating, working around the clock, sacrifice and dedication and, and putting this above everything else, you know? And it's like realizing, actualizing this every day is a lot harder than I think people notice a lot of the time. People ask what like the secrets are to getting better and stuff like that. We get that a lot, you know? What is your magical technique to moving your fingers so fast, dude? And uh, it's just the hours you put in, so. Um, you can't really escape good old-fashioned elbow grease-oriented work th that I think we're, they're probably all addicted to now.
when we were 15 and 16 riding together, the only thing we wanted to do was shred. And what we wanted to do with Muse, this current record, is add melody and, and like musical context to it and make it actually enjoyable to listen to. You know, progressive shreddy music is, is very, it's a very obscure genre. And you know, what I want to bring to this genre, because that's what we play, you know, is, is that pop sensibility that if your grandma heard it, she could dig it. If, if your daughter heard it, she could dig it. If you heard it, you, you could dig it. If your dog heard it, he digs it. So um, as we experiment with new things, you know, like, you know, some people will dig it, some people won't, and you know, it's just, we love it either way. I think when what inspires you doesn't change, I think you sort of kind of become stale. Um, so I think we try to keep the influences fresh and make sure that, you know, whether it's what we're listening to or where we write, we just try to keep everything and uh, sort of dynamic. Like me and Scott are the primary melody writers. Um, we only listen to like radio music, you know, like we listen for Muse, we based a lot of the songs off pop and rap songs um, so that we don't like, you know, get really influenced by anything that's in our genre so that we don't end up sounding like anything in our genre.
I think the theme of our music is I can, really, to put it simply. We have this standard of excellence that we try to put in our music. I mean, we can't say that with words, so we kind of just try to be, like, the best we can be. You know, that's kind of what we were pushing just a lot, was just like, you can fucking do anything you want, you know, as long as you put your mind to it and work your ass off. I, I like the fact that our music can be interpreted differently from person to person. We're not reciting some sort of, like, words to them, but rather we're, like, giving them a canvas to on which to, you know, paint their own picture. When people see what we're doing and see the way that we're doing it, we aren't pretending and we worked really hard to get here and that we are aligned with who we want to be and who we really are. And I think that is something, at least personally, that I would like our, our fans or listeners to kind of realize about us or, or feel when they hear our music is that just be yourself and make yourself amazing and run to the moon and back with it, you know, and don't let anybody hold you back.